Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. Uh, today we want to discuss some question on nuclear and particle physics for semester 5 under University of Calcutta. So let's start. First question says the radius of copper nucleus is measured. This one estimate the radius of this one. You know very well that is the radius of nucleus is related with this one where A is the mass number that is for copper this is 64 for manganese this is magnesium this is 27. So if you ratio these two radius of the manganese and copper you will be get R0 cancel out it will be this one and you know this radius of copper so easily you can uh, find out the radius of mg okay so this will be this one. Next question says the mass difference of two nuclei that is silicon 14 and aluminium 1327 is 6 mega electron volt estimate the radius of this one. Actually, these two are the mirror nuclei and for mirror nuclei, the radius can be obtained by this relation where this is the energy difference will be like that. So, if you put this value, <coughs> interchange this R, if you put this value, you can easily find out this relation. This proof actually done here, uh, I think for this question, you did not uh, require the derivation of this one. Actually, this is obtained like that if you consider a uh, charge density and then taking a charge and uh, con continue with the momentum of the charge okay so i think i uh, will be discuss this one in uh, details in the theoretical class for that question this is the solution next question obtain the ground state spin and the particle of the following nuclei according to the extreme single particle cell model for carbon there is six proton and this is 30 uh, minus six that is seven newton for six proton the total spin is zero and it is plus one so for this excess uh, neutron, the spin is half, and it is 10 to minus half. So in notation, this is half to the power minus one. This is spin and this is parity. For this one, these two are even, so both are zero. So this will be zero plus parity is plus. For nitrogen seven and fourteen seven seven, these are both uh, odd. So there is a excess proton, excess neutron for one that is half plus half one, and parity is plus. So this is one plus. Next question. Calculate the height of Coulomb barrier first by alpha particle while trying to escape from this one. The highest energy of the alpha particle emitted uh, to this one, that one, is this apparent energy. Actually, barrier height of alpha particle is written is just 1 by 4 plus charge by distance. Right? So, if you put this value and R is R0 to the 1 third, if you put this value, you will be obtained this amount of energy. But the transition gives the alpha energy is like that. So, you can see the barrier height is higher than the energy of alpha particle. So, how the alpha particle ejected from the nucleus? Listen again. The energy barrier from the nucleus when the particle actually wants to. Uh, suppose this is a, a nucleus and the when alpha particle wants to eject from this one, the barrier height, the barrier height energy is 65. 777 seven, kilo electron volt but the alpha particle energy is this one very low how this is possible this is actually possible due to the quantum tunneling effect in quantum tunneling effect from quantum mechanics you know in quantum tunneling effect the particle can tra uh, transfer uh, with the barrier height higher than the barrier height the energy level by uh, tunneling effect right so this can be happen so this is actually happened for the quantum tunneling effect. Next question says polonium uh, 210 emits two group of alpha particle uh, with kinetic energy 5.30 and the 5.4.530 uh, calculate the energy according to the gamma rate. So there is alpha particle ejected two types of energy that means there is two energy level of this. So <coughs> the energy of gamma will be the difference of these two energy level. Next question, what is neutrino? Neutrino actually is a hypothetical particle whose spin is half uh, and small mass, magnetic moment very small and in, in, in beta decay it will be uh, actually ejected. Hypothet uh, hypothesis of neutrino actually says when the neutron uh, change into proton with a beta and uh, proton change into neutron with a positron, they are for conservation uh, you can see Momentum conservation is not happening because the spin of the all three particles are half. So left hand side spin is half, right hand side spin is one. So this is not matches. That's why introducing neutrino and its antineutrino with the spin half and minus half. 
so that uh, the momentum is conserved so you can see now this is uh, half and this is half this is half and this is minus half that's why the uh, momentum is conserved in both side so uh, neutrino actually introduced to conserve the energy and momentum and this is the property next compute the stopping power for 8 mega electron volt uh, deuterium and 4 mega electron volt proton in the same medium so actually proton uh, stopping power actually proportional to 1 by v square that is v square in 2 e by m so if you compare for deuterium and proton finally you will be obtained this relation okay so this is the topping potential for this one uh, okay so this is one so you can say there is potting potential stopping potential for these two particle are the same next is a pion rest as this one this is the pion decay the kinetic energy of the uh, muon is like that and uh, mass of the muon is this so you need to find out the mass of the pi minus so uh, from the energy conservation you can say this is actually the rest and moving with this one so uh, this uh, total energy of this pion is equal to total energy of muon plus uh, there is no rest mass of neutrino so this is only kinetic energy and you can see this uh, t equal to pc kinetic energy equal to pc and uh, for momentum conservation p of nu equal to p of nu so these two are equal and this can be converted into the energy term so just putting this value of total energy this is the total energy of this muon that is rest energy and this kinetic energy will be like that so finally you have to this one next a hadron of symbolized delta plus plus three plus three this is the isospin uh, 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 and this is the uh, parity it is for uh, fermion or boson you can know you know that is for boson the spin r is a integral multiple but there is a uh, half integral so this is fermion okay number th then spin is half its spin is half and parity is plus and iso spin is 3 by 2 next identify which of the following weak decay mode is impossible for this one you can see uh, you, you know in decay uh, in weak decay stranges is not conserved it's it actually zero and plus minus one so for every case if you put this value of stranges number you can see there is delta s equals to three there is delta s equal to one there is delta s equal to three so these two one and three are not is uh, are impossible okay so this is a not possible only uh, two is possible so that's it this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect with this telegram channel this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get different physical videos and mathematics like this session we will answer something for this session share this video to your friends other he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel those already subscribe thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of our video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you